Back in 2017, a wrestler by the name of Bennett signed with WWE. Soon after, it was announced that she would participate in the inaugural Mi Young Classic, a tournament featuring female wrestlers from around the world, under a new name, Re Ripley. Ripley made her debut in the tournament by defeating Miranda Salinas in the first round. However, she lost to Dakota Kai in the second round. Later that same year, Ripley appeared on the 25th of October episode of NXT, a developmental brand of WWE, as part of a battle royal match. The winner of the match would earn a spot as a contender for the vacant NXT Women's Championship at the TakeOver War Games event on the 18th of November. Despite putting up a good fight, Ripley was not able to come out on top, and the match was won by Nikki Cross. After some time, Ripley returned to the 2018 Mi Young Classic with a new look and attitude. She showed a more aggressive and disrespectful side, earning herself the role of a heel in the process. She won her first three matches in the tournament against MJ Jenkins, Casey Catanzaro, and Tegan Knox. However, her journey was cut short as she lost to Io Shirai in the semi-finals. In 2018, shortly after participating in the Mi Young Classic, Re Ripley joined the NXT UK brand, which was launched as a new show at the time. In August of that year, during the tapings for the show, Ripley took part in an eight-woman tournament to determine the inaugural NXT UK Women's Champion. In the tournament, Ripley defeated Zia Brookside in the first round, Dakota Kai in the semi-finals, and Tony Storm in the finals to become the first ever champion. With this victory, Ripley made history by becoming the first female Australian champion in WWE's history. She also became the second Australian champion overall, after Buddy Murphy. Ripley's win was a significant achievement and marked a turning point in her career. In addition to her victory in the tournament, Ripley also competed in a dark match before the first ever all-women's pay-per-view, Evolution, on October 28th. She successfully defended her championship title against Dakota Kai during the match. However, because the tournament had yet to air at the time, Ripley was not yet officially recognized on screen as the champion. Throughout her reign as the NXT UK Women's Champion, Ripley successfully fended off numerous challengers such as Isla Dawn and Diana Perazzo. Her time as champion helped establish her as a dominant force in the NXT UK brand and showcased her talent and skill in the ring. On the 12th of January 2019, at the NXT UK TakeOver Blackpool event, Re Ripley lost her NXT UK Women's Championship to Tony Storm, putting an end to her reign of 139 days. This defeat also marked Ripley's first loss in the brand. Following this, on the 27th of January 2019, Ripley made her debut on a main roster pay-per-view at the Royal Rumble event. She entered the Women's Royal Rumble match at number 24 and managed to eliminate Casey Catanzaro, Dana Brooke, and Selena Vega before eventually being eliminated by Bayley. Throughout 2019, Ripley engaged in a feud with the newly debuting Piper Niven, as the two vied for the title of the most dominant woman in the NXT UK roster. Their rivalry came to a head on the 15th of June 2019, when Niven defeated Ripley in a match. However, Ripley managed to secure a victory over Niven in a rematch on the 31st of August 2019. Eventually, Ripley and Niven formed a tag team after Ripley saved Niven from an attack by Jazzy Gabbert and Ginny. The two went on to defeat Gabbert Gabbert and Ginny in a tag team match on the 4th of October. Ripley's final match in the NXT UK brand took place on the 5th of October 2019 at the NXT UK tapings, where she defeated Nina Samuels. On August 28, 2019, Rhea Ripley made a surprise return to NXT during an episode of the show. She interrupted the NXT Women's Champion Shayna Baszler and claimed that Baszler had not beaten everyone on NXT, including her. This marked Ripley's face turn and began a feud between her and Baszler. In addition to her feud with Baszler, on November 1st, 2019, Ripley and Tegan Knox were among the NXT wrestlers who invaded SmackDown. They challenged Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville to a tag team match, which Ripley and Knox won. Later that night, Ripley joined Triple H and the rest of the NXT roster as they declared war on both Raw and SmackDown, with the goal of winning the 2019 Survivor Series brand Warfare. As part of the storyline, Ripley also competed in a triple threat match against Raw's Charlotte Flair and SmackDown's Sasha Banks on November 22, 2019, which she won. This match further established Ripley as a force to be reckoned with on the main roster. During the NXT TakeOver War Games event on November 23, 2019, Ripley led Team Ripley in the historic first-ever Women's War Games match against Team Bassler. Despite teammate Dakota Kai's sudden heel turn and attacking Tegan Knox before she could even enter the match, leaving Ripley and Candice LeRae in a two-on-four handicap situation, Ripley managed to secure a victory for her team by pinning Bassler. The following night at Survivor Series, Ripley was part of Team NXT, which consisted of various NXT superstars, including herself. They faced off against Team Raw and Team SmackDown in a five-on-five-on-five elimination match. Ripley was the leader of her team and ultimately secured the win after last eliminating SmackDown's captain Sasha Banks. The survivors of Team NXT were Ripley, LeRae, and Io Shirai.
On December 18, 2019, Ripley faced Bassler for the NXT Women's Championship on an episode of NXT. In a thrilling match, Ripley emerged victorious, becoming the first person to win both the NXT Women's and NXT UK Women's Championships. She then went on to defend her title against Tony Storm at the World's Collide event on January 25, 2020, successfully retaining her championship. On the 3rd of February, 2020 episode of Raw, Rhea Ripley made a surprise appearance to challenge Charlotte Flair, who had won the Royal Rumble, to a match for the NXT Women's Championship at WrestleMania 36. In the following episode of NXT, Flair appeared to give her answer, but was interrupted by Ripley and Bianca Belair. Ripley went on to successfully defend her title against Belair at TakeOver Portland on the 16th of February, and was subsequently attacked by Flair, who had accepted her challenge. At WrestleMania 36 on the 5th of April, Ripley lost the title to Flair, and the next day, it was announced that Ripley would be taking a hiatus from WWE and returning to Australia due to visa issues. Ripley made her return on the 6th of May's episode of NXT, after Flair was disqualified in a match against Io Shirai for the NXT Women's Championship. The two then engaged in a backstage argument and brawl that required officials to separate them. On the 7th of June at TakeOver, In Your House, Ripley competed in a triple threat match for the NXT Women's Championship against Flair and Shirai, but lost to Shirai. On the 18th of November episode of NXT, Ripley challenged Shirai for the NXT Women's Championship but was unsuccessful. She was later announced as a member of Shotzi Blackheart's team for the second ever Women's War Games match on the 2nd of December episode of NXT. At New Year's Evil on the 6th of January 2021, Ripley faced Raquel Gonzalez in a last woman standing match, which would be her final match in NXT. Ripley failed to defeat Gonzalez in the match. At the Royal Rumble on the 31st of January, Ripley entered at number 14 and eliminated seven competitors, making it to the final two before eventually being eliminated by Bianca Belair, who would go on to win the match.